Uh, tonight, a Rancho Cucamonga neighborhood is on edge after deputies shot and killed a mountain lion spotted in the area. It happened in the 6300 block of Moonstone Avenue near Barrel Park and the 210 freeway. KCAL 9's Bobby Capel is live in Rancho Cucamonga with a story you'll only see on KCAL 9. Bobby? Serene, it was a wild scene out here this morning. You had one, maybe two mountain lions running around this neighborhood for hours on end, showing up in several backyards, and only we have the video tonight. All is quiet in this Rancho Cucamonga Foothills neighborhood tonight after the morning brought a surprise visitor. I'm scared, you know, because the door is open, just I'm running. This 100 pound plus mountain lion showed up in the backyard of a senior citizen long term care center here. The employees couldn't believe what they were seeing. First thing coming to my, uh, my mind is I don't know if it's going to attack us or what. So that's it. So we just lock up all the doors and the windows to make sure that nothing's going to uh, happen wrong. He looks very dangerous. Rowan Dizon shot this video of the big cat, who he says hung around perched in this alley for more than an hour. Call everyone and said, hey, there's a big lion here, a big mountain lion. But he was just saying here, I thought he was just going to run away, but it didn't. Then we call 911. Earlier, another neighbor spotted two mountain lions a block away, one apparently leaving the area. When San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies arrived to find this one, they shot and killed the lion on site, telling residents it was a danger to the community. I asked them, so what are you, what are you guys going to do? Oh, they're going to, the animal control is going to come in, tranquilize him, that, you know, and then lose him back to the mountain. The first thing that came into my mind that they got to do that is tranquilize it. So we were just surprised that, uh, you know, big gun showed up. And I talked to a neighbor out here tonight that was very upset with the fact that they shot and killed the mountain lion rather than tranquilize him. I reached out to the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department to find out why they said that the officers that were here did not have tranquilizer guns and that there were no fish and game wardens here in the area. We are live tonight in Rancho Cucamonga. Bobby Capel, KCAL 9 News. Yep. Along the American River in Rancho Cordova, there have been several reports of mountain lion sightings. New tonight, Tony Lopez is live in Rancho with more on the animal alert. Well, back in January, the warnings were posted along the American River about a mountain lion spotted. Tonight, we're at it again, but this time it comes with an added feature, an increase in coyote activity and something slithering in the night. Here at the Ansel Hoffman Park and Golf Area, seeing glimpses of wildlife is par for the course. We found this buck enjoying a sunset snack, a pitching wedge away from golfers, and right across the road from these cross-country athletes and their coaches, who know it's not a stretch to say you can run into just about anything out here. So recent reports of a mountain lion sighting are not that shocking. Um, no, not actually, because we've seen some in West Sacramento, too. My neighbor was worried about her cat because it got lost and she said that they have a mountain lion out back. They live along the levee. Seasoned outdoor lovers like David and Kennessy with their dog Daisy say they're extra aware these days. And I carry um, pepper spray with me for that very reason. I don't know if it'll be quick, quicker than a mountain lion, but you know, it's worth a shot, right? But as they take a cruise on their kayaks down the American River, some of their neighbors spent the night getting an in-your-face lesson on coexisting with wildlife along the river. Coyote sightings and rattlesnake bites are at one of the highest levels in years. We have a lot of concerned pet parents right now. Um, a lot of animals are um, being bitten. This expert would tell them mountain lion sightings do happen, but the big cats usually stay away from people who spent this summer night mingling with Mother Nature, living in harmony, but with eyes wide open. Coming back to a live picture, Mike, showing you a nice shot of a full moon lit night. Gives you a sense of peace and calm, and that's certainly the same type of feelings that people who live along the river want to keep when it deals with the wildlife. Okay, Tony, thank you. A warning for visitors to Whiting Ranch Wilderness Park. Beware of mountain lions. There have been so many recent sightings at the 2,500-acre park and Lake Forest that more trail cameras have been installed and warning signs are posted to alert visitors. Fish and game wardens have also been called in to assist, and parents are advised to accompany their children at all times. Police officers with guns drawn, a Bay Area neighborhood on lockdown because of a mountain lion under that car. Andrea Borba is in Mountain View tonight with the latest. Andrea? 
Well, Ken, take a look behind me. The waiting game is still on in Mountain View. We're told that a game warden has arrived with all the proper tools to tranquilize this mountain lion and get it out of here safely. We have just not heard the word go yet. Now, two reports of mountain lion sightings came into Mountain View PD around 6.30 this evening near Ringstorf Park. That, of course, is near the Stevens Creek Trail. By the time officers got there, the cat had crossed busy California Street and holed up in the underground parking garage of the Casa del Rey Apartments. The process of putting the mountain lion out of the garage was slowed when game wardens didn't have all of the parts they needed for their tranquilizer gun. MVPD officers had the complex surrounded, prepared to use lethal force on the mountain lion if he tried to make a run for it before the game wardens could catch him. Now this is video of that mountain lion underneath a car in the garage during the long hours of this standoff so far. We suggest, obviously, that if anybody does have a, a sees a mountain lion or believes they see a mountain lion, to do what these people did is to call 911 immediately. Don't try to pet it. You're not a mountain lion whisperer. Um, you know, let let the professionals handle it. Now, this is video of the mountain lion. Santa Cruz Pumas, a nonprofit group that tracks mountain lions around the Bay Area, has identified to KPIX 5 as 46M. That is a male cat. They told us that today's John through Mountain View was 46M looking to establish his own territory. Now, as you can see right now, they still have that cat cornered. We are waiting for the word go when they will shoot this tranquilizer gun at the cat and pull it out of that garage. They hope to do so without being forced to kill the animal. Live in Mountain View, Andrea Borba, KPIX. All right. Believe it or not, mountain lions are fairly common in the Bay Area. We see a number of them every year. This is the first time, though, that we've heard of one in the heart of Mountain View. Another news tonight. A mountain lion is believed to be roaming around Rockland. In fact, the mountain lion has been spotted at least three times in Rockland in the past two months. And there is a picture to prove it. The first sighting was on February 21st along Morgan Court, the second nearly two months later near Parker Whitney School, and the third just two days after that on Humboldt Drive. CBS 13's Ian Schwartz is live in Rockland with what police are telling homeowners now the most important thing that they can do. Ian? Sam, wait till you see this picture. It's a pretty sizable looking cat uh, spotted in this green belt behind me. Now, we're not out in the middle of the woods. There's a church right here to my right and that elementary school you mentioned. It's across the street. It was put on lockdown during one of those sightings. He was right on that limb. Spring flowers aren't the only thing showing up in Rockland trees lately. I'm a little bit scared at night, especially. This mountain lion has everyone on Morgan Court talking. The clawed cat has been seen several times since February. All of the backyards here get deer and skunk and every other kind of uh, animal you can imagine. This is like Wild West out here. Don Lamerick has never seen a mountain lion here, but he did a month ago. His dogs were going nuts. The dogs were right there. And he looked out his bay windows. We weren't sure what it was at first. Don got a clear view of the mountain lion, snapped this picture, and called police. But this week, police phones started ringing again. Another mountain lion sighting. The biggest uh, mistake you could ever make is turn your back and run from the animal. Joyce Metzger with Rockland Police says mountain lions love to chase prey. If you run into one, she says make yourself look bigger than you are by putting your arms up and then find a way to slowly back away from the animal. Neighbors say they don't like how comfortable the cat is getting, worried it's waiting to make a meal out of someone's small pet. This kid over here saw it laying down in that backyard, just laying there, cooling it. <laughs> Yeah, pretty freaky stuff. You know, I started to think, how many lo mountain lion attacks have there been on humans uh, in California? Well, I checked with uh, Fish and Game. In the past 40 years or so, Sam, there's a been uh, about f less than 15, and that's for the entire state. So, yeah, pretty unnerving to see that, but uh, the odds of it actually attacking someone, pretty low uh, as far as statistics go. But rare for it to be in a populated neighborhood like the one you're standing in. That's really the story here, isn't it? Yeah, and I think the big, big concern is uh, people are wondering about their animals. Right. That's probably the uh, biggest thing they're concerned about. Yeah. All right, Ian, thanks very much. Live for us tonight in Rockland. A serious warning to be on the lookout for a mountain lion lurking in a popular area in Vacaville. The lion's been seen at least twice now. First near a neighborhood and then at a busy park. In rural areas of Vacaville, city workers are warning people of a potentially dangerous animal. Some have come across evidence it's been in the area. It was a big paw. I mean, the mark of the paw over there around the lake. 
A warning went out Friday after a hiker spotted a mountain lion near Cherry Glen Road. And people who live near Lagoon Valley also recently reported seeing the big cat. But that's the first time. I think that's the first time that signs went out. It caused city workers to immediately post temporary signs at trailheads. You know, I've heard some coyotes up here, so I would expect to see a mountain lion. It wouldn't surprise me. But not everyone, many who take their dogs on walks on these trails, heard about the mountain lion sightings. Oh, uh, the dog, she loves it. Oh, yeah, she loves being off the leash. If I hear there's mountain lions out and we're out on bikes, I'm more anxious to get home than be out. As the, it's getting a little dark, you know. The warning signs also tell people what to do if they see a mountain lion, like fight back if attacked. My instincts is run like hell. Despite the serious warning, workers at the Department of Fish and Game say the mountain lion sightings near homes is not a public safety concern as long as the lion isn't acting aggressively toward people. Still, many say they're not taking the chance. They're impressive animals. I, you know, I would, I would like to see one sometime, but uh, I'm not sure if I like to see real close. Now, if you spot a mountain lion, experts say don't run from the, from the lion. Instead, back away slowly. If you see the cat in Vacaville, call the city parks Divi division. New at 5, Sacramento police are warning people who live in East Sacramento of a mountain lion seen roaming the neighborhood. The mountain lion was spotted near 58th and M Street, 36th and Folsom Boulevard, and 36th and R Street. CBS 13 found one man who came uncomfortably close to it. Uh, about 2 o'clock in the morning, it was laying right here. Mike Tamborelli was taking his dog out for an overnight walk when he came up close to the mountain lion. I came out with the dog and, and the dang on thing jumped the fence right here on, on our street. Tamborelli says his neighbors saw it too and called police. In this family friendly neighborhood with its tree lined streets where SUVs are the biggest beasts and dogs dominate backyards, Cops received at least three mountain lion sightings between 1.30 in the morning and 4 a.m. One of those was from a Sacramento police officer. It's National Mountain Lion Day. The unusual location for a mountain lion sighting has become a big talker here, but East Sacramento business owner Kara Zuni says she's not surprised. There's construction everywhere and the, and the drought, you know, the water's low, food's low, and dogs and cats are easy to eat in your backyard. The last sighting of the East Sac big cat came at the intersection of 36th and R, where a police officer watched it jump a chain link fence, leaping through this concrete jungle and out of view near Highway 50. The Sacramento Police Department issued a phone alert to neighbors in the area. So far, no one has seen it during the daylight, but uh, you may know mountain lions usually sleep during the day. They come out at night. And a feline danger is lurking near this Lincoln dog park, forcing residents to lock up their pets at this point. A mountain lion sighting leaving that community very much on edge right now. Officials are combing the area, making their best attempt to track down that cat. Rowena Shaddix is live for us tonight in Lincoln and Roe. They're doing what they can, but they're also asking for the public's help as well, right? That is correct, Eric. It is this gate that really separates the area where this dog park is located. And walk with me just across the street. You'll see how close the spotting was to people's homes. And it's this neighborhood where a man spotted it and they called police. Just started going back down right there. Going this way. Right. Okay. And looked up and saw it and stopped. Leon Zaragoza was mowing his front lawn when something caught his eye Wednesday afternoon. After grabbing a pair of binoculars and a second look, he ran inside to his wife. You need to call 911 because there's a mountain lion across the street. It was to the right of the base of the tree and it was still. And it got up and started walking real slow, just real casually. I, I told him to get a co patrol car out here because they're dangerous. They yes. could hurt, they could kill somebody. It was the size of a large German Shepherd. Surprisingly, when Lincoln police arrived, the lion was still there. They had their rifles out, of course, because you, didn't, you know, you never know they're going to attack them. The animal was moving uh, when it was seen by the, okay. the reporting party and by the officer. Uh, and it wasn't acting in a way where it was being aggressive towards anyone. And just about two hours later, within the block, Kylie Whipple and her dad believe they spotted the lion again. Over behind that white stake where that fallen tree is, mm -hmm. he was just wagging his tail. A circle of bird feathers in that same spot. Could it be the reason for that tail wagging? We just don't want anybody to get hurt. There's coyotes, there's rattlesnakes, and yeah. a lot of stuff out there.
Making deliveries was the only reason Amanda Cortez was in the area. I would probably scream and like run like I don't even know. Now, if you see a mountain lion and it is acting aggressive toward you, you feel threatened. Police said do not hesitate to call him. Treat him as you would a drunken driver. Call 911. All right. Thank you, Ro. There's controversy.